coming just shy of a goal and being so close to where you can kind of taste it, it definitely drives me to make sure that that never happens again. I guess amazing would have been a four-time champ or a three-time champ or a two-time champ. I wasn't a champ at all. I was a finalist and I and I worked hard and there's days where I you know I appreciate all the work and the success I had in wrestling but uh, and then there's other days where I feel like I, uh, I fell shy of my goals and you know it's hard to get over the fact that when you don't actually meet your goal you look at it as a failure but you know it's a lifelong process to just to get me to where I am today. That regardless if I would have won or lost that finals match, I mean, I would have still worked real hard and pursued the same goals. But uh, having that little sense of guilt that I let it slip through my fingers makes me put that extra two, three minutes past the bell. Oh, yeah, this is probably the lightest I've been three days out in a while. I'm usually the, I don't know, 15, 16 pounds after usually, and I started the day off at 15 over, so that's not bad at all. I guess they say your biggest meal is supposed to be breakfast and then your small dinner, but I think sleeping better and not hungry is more important. So I kind of do that vice versa, which probably isn't the best, but it, uh, it works for me. Oh, weight cutting is by far uh, just a, it's the normal process of life to me. I've done it since elementary school. Well, I probably picked a little unhealthier one. I didn't mean to. I was kind of doing it, ordering on the fly. So I'm fine. I can eat the whole thing. But uh, I don't know what she got. She pretty much eat whatever. Uh, we've been together for a little over four and a half years. So we met that day or the day before my last final for the summer and. Pretty much, we are really shit picked up through that that summer. I probably won't eat it all anyways. It's a lot. Yeah, me neither. I already put half mine back in there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Can I just put mine with yours? Yeah. Okay. How are you feeling? Feel good. You look a little down in weight there. Oh, yeah. Feel good. We dated all through wrestling. Oh, yeah. there was a bunch of talk of maybe what he wanted to do as far as like maybe the Olympics or go straight into MMA and then eventually he chose MMA as his, you know, the greater passion he had. So he moved out here a year ahead of me. That was rocky, that was rough. Um, long distance, I mean anyone can tell you, long distance is not a piece of cake. We are still going strong so I wanted to make it out here. Here's one of my first you know, trophies or belts that I had since um, I moved here in Fresno. And, you know, it, it was a big stepping stone. This is the picture of me and my girlfriend after winning the belt. I was back in the locker room real sweaty and, you know, she's, she uh, wasn't able to make it to all my fights because she was still living in, in uh, Pennsylvania. So she was actually, we, she flew out and she came down and watched me to win that. She was there at that fight, so she was just as excited as I was. This is, uh, these, these are my debut Bellator gloves. Bellator 125. Uh, I won by a technical knockout, second round. I think it's pretty cool. Hopefully I can get a huge list here, maybe stack them up two on two, and and I can uh, write the name of my opponents in the back or something. Uh, when I go back and I get old and can't remember, I can remember who I fought when. One of his goals is to be the greatest and to have the belt. And I totally, 100% see that happening. I don't just predict that. For him, I live it, I see it, You can just the way he lives his life. Well, every day, I feel like I gotta do something to be a champion, you know, it just never stops. I mean, the true champions never stop. What makes me different? I think I just have that, that mental edge. I have the ability to control my destiny. It's not like college where I only have four chances and then I'm over with. 
and it's done. I have an entire career, and as long as I can stand, I'll, uh, I'll be fighting. I, I've spent the last two years, day in and day out, opening and closing the gym, and uh, put my time in. I'm ready to be known.